folks, Ariel over here at Finest. Yeah, barely, it's an empty bowl. There's nothing in it right now. Boring. Um, pardon the noise, there's a lot of thunder. There's a storm about to pop over those mountains here, so hopefully I can make this video before we get soaked. But today I want to show you another really fun vegetable. This stuff right in front of me here, that's chard if you're going to ask, these are beets. But this stuff right here in the middle, this is called strawberry spinach. Now, this is super easy to grow, it's really fun, and the first thing I want to tell you about it is that it comes up slower than almost everything else. So the first couple years I tried to grow it, I thought nothing was growing. I planted like all the seeds for the whole garden, almost everything else was sprouted and growing, and that patch just looked bare and dead like nothing at all was happening. And then, all of a sudden, it sprouted and grew. And so I've just learned to expect, that I'm actually starting to get some raindrops, um, that this stuff grows, uh, starts slower than everything else. Now this is in the spinach family, so the leaves are totally edible. They look much like most other spinaches. I don't grow this for the leaf, though I have so many other leafy things I can eat. But what I grow this for is these. This would actually be its flower, and this one is so heavy it actually broke off, so I'm just going to pull this off to show you. And once, once any leafy thing flowers, it usually gets kind of tough and bitter. You can eat it, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it, it's just not very pleasant to eat. So I'm not going to eat the leaves on this anymore. But what I am going to eat is these. These are, they're called strawberry spinach, I assume, because of the color. But these little fruits pop off just like this. You have to, oh, dropped it there. Um, be a little bit gentle with them. They're not a real firm fruit, they're a little tender. They're called strawberries, but what I think they taste like, if you've ever had mulberries, which don't grow in my area here, um, I think they really taste like a mulberry, which is something I very, very much enjoy. And so you can kind of pull them apart like this, and they get, you, you can see how they start out being really green, like right there, and then they get a little bit of a pink tint, and then they get darker pink, and then they get really, really, like that was the most ready one. This one's pretty, pretty good. Um, but they get deeper and deeper and juicier and sweeter. Now you can eat these in all kinds of ways. I don't have any cooking videos to go with this because I don't usually cook them. I use them on top of salads like you might put blueberries or strawberries on top of a salad and they're delicious that way. I also very much enjoy them just as a, a fruit to snack on. Um, they're just really tasty and they really do taste like a very juicy sweet mulberry to me. You can hear Burley in the background. I think he's very frustrated that he chased a chipmunk under a rock and it won't come out and it's squeaking at him. Anyway, um, so this is a fun plant to grow and it's also really easy to reseed. If I just shake these a little bit in my bowl, you'll start to see these little tiny black flecks in there. They look like little pyramid, uh, periods like size dots. That's actually the seeds. If I pick a bowl of these, even if I don't shake it, I'll get a whole bunch of seeds in the bottom. And so while I originally got these seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, rareseeds.com, uh, I, these were grown from seeds I saved of my own last year just by when I eat them. There are seeds left in the bottom of the bowl. So I kept them and replanted them. And that's what all of this grew from. So it's super easy to grow. Probably if you have a cool climate, spinach tends to like cool climates in general. If you have a super hot climate, maybe this would even be a winter crop for you or maybe you can't grow it. But if you can grow regular spinaches or most leafy things, I think this would do well. And it's so pretty that even if you don't want to use the leaves at all, like I said, I don't usually even harvest any of these leaves because I have so many other greens. Um, it's delicious to grow just for its fruit. It's the only berry-like thing I can think of that you can grow in like five weeks. I mean, like a blueberry bush takes kind of forever to get growing. A, a cherry tree takes years to get growing, but I can get these from seed to harvesting berries in like five weeks here. So that's pretty awesome. And they're just pretty. I mean, even if you don't want to eat them at all, even for their fruit, I think this would look gorgeous planted in an ornamental flower garden just because they're beautiful. So if you've never heard of strawberry spinach, there is one of my favorite cool unique crops that I will be eating the pretty much the rest of the summer until it freezes. It keeps sending out more little, you know, there's little baby shoots here that are barely um, even started to make their little berries yet. And I just really enjoy it. So if you want something new and fun to try out and you've got a, a climate where leafy things do well, give strawberry spinach a try. This stuff is delicious. 
folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.